ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಣ ವಿದಾತಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಯೋ ವೈ ವೇದಾಂಶ ಪ್ರಹಿಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತಂ ಹೇವಮಾತ್ಮಬುಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುರ್ವೈ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯಕೃಭ್ಯೋ ವಂಶಿಭ್ಯೋ ಮಹತ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪಲವರಹಿತ ಪ್ರಜಾನಕನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗರ್ಥೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೀವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೀವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಸಕಾಯ ಗುರವೇ ಶಾಂತಸನ್ಯಾಸಿನೆ ನಾನಾವಾದೀನೇತಸಂಗಪಮೇ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ವಂದ್ಯಾ ಮೋಹಧ್ವಾಂತಿಭಾಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಿಧ್ರತೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಭಾಷೆ ನಮೋಸ್ತ ಸತತ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಯ ಬೋಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ಸಂಗ ಸತ್ಸುವಿಧೀಯತೀಯತಿ ಪರಿಚೀಯತ ದೃಢತರ ಕರ್ಮಾಶು ಸಂಧ್ಯತ ಸದ್ವಾನುಪಸೃಪ್ಯತೀನ ತತ್ಪಾತು ಕಾಸೇತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈಕಾಕ್ಷರಮರ್ಥತುತಿಶಿರೋ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸಮಕರಣೀಯತ ಶ್ರುತಿಶಿರೋ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸಮಕರಣೀಯತ ನಾನು ಅಲೌಕಿಕ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ವಿಚಾರೆ ಕಥಂ ಮಮ ಸ್ವತೈವ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ದೋ ಒನ್ ಮೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದುಃಖ ಅತ್ಯಂತಿಕ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಪರಮ ಸುಖ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ not just sukhasya parama sukhasya prapti and not only dukhasya nivritti then what atyanta atyantika nivritti and it is absolute removal freedom from dukham an attainment of sukham which is supreme Ah, this is this is acceptable but does one know by doing what going where seeing what knowing what experiencing what one will be free one will be liberated does the person know do he may have apparently heard that he who knows brahman becomes free what is that brahman and how knowing brahman will make you free therefore know the acceptable definition everywhere is absolute removal of dukham and attainment of supreme joy this is an acceptable definition yet when you come to vedanta now 
this very thing is turned into what? Avidya Nivritti. By knowing Brahman, one will be free. By knowing Brahman means, what will the knowledge do? It will remove the ignorance. Knowledge does not do anything else. Knowledge only removes ignorance. And therefore, avidya nivritti is our definition of moksha. Okay. Only avidya nivritti. If <coughs> one finds any defect over here, then we will say, Avidya Nivritti se Upalakshit Atma ko ye Moksha keh rahe hai, Mukti keh rahe hai, Upalakshit. We will see all these things. Atma, the Self, indicated by removal of ignorance is liberation. So now the definition of Mukti goes and sits in Atma. Okay. Earlier what was there? Only Avidya Nivritti we said is Moksha. And both the definitions are uh, logically fine. We will see where, whenever we have to see. But presently one does not know what it is. What is this liberation and how will it take place? Just by knowing Brahman, how can liberation take place? Because this Dukkham seems to be an endless story. It continues to follow me wherever I go. I may escape from the suffering of the mortal world and go to the heaven, yet the imperfection that is there, the inadequacy, the sense of incompleteness, <coughs> which is there with me, continues over there also. And it expresses in the form of my, my insecurity that I should not fall out of the good books of God. From that heaven, I should not be expelled uh, because such cases have happened. And over here, hey, in the Swarga that we are talking about, which is Vaidika, over here, we say that the person will be in, that Sukham will be Dukkhena Na Sambhinnam. That Sukha is not pierced by Dukkha. Where in the heaven? Tatra tvam na jaraya vipet. Even Nachiketa says that to Mrityu that in Svargaloka, neither you, O death, nor even the old age bothers, causes fear. Though this is true, yet the stay in the heaven will be only up to that period as much as your punya phalam, as much as is your punya. Once the punya is exhausted, hey, even if you may be Indra, you will have to descend down to the mortal world again. So that is also time bound. That is also time bound. So what is it that, that, that will, and over here, the sukham which we talk locally, is not just time bound, but it is to gain a sambhinnam. It is, it is pierced by dukkham, mixed with dukkham. The only thing is more dukkham and less dukkham is the only thing that you have. That is what you call as your respite and happiness. So now I do not know how to be free. And it is therefore something that is, that is, that I cannot go and ask an economist, a scientist, an engineer, 
a president of a country, a businessman, I cannot ask this question, sir, how will I be free? <coughs> because the other fellow is also going to tell, I am also searching for the same. And yet I am not able to reach it. I do not know that will be their answer. So now what happens? Therefore, how to know is the question. So now, Nanu, Alaukika Purusharta Vichare, Katham Mama Svatahaeva Pradhupisya. Now you are asking to think about it, but then how will I be propelled into it? Because by myself, I do not know. All that I know is at the most, whatever are your desires, just fulfill them righteously. That is all that I know. Or something more that I know is, now let us do our duties with Ishwara Bhavana. That is all. With a feeling, attitude, that this is all my offering to Ishwara. That's all I know. But I really do not know what is moksha. What is moksha? How will that come to me? So something which you do not know, that needs to be known, then what is there? You require a pramana. Because without the equipment of knowledge, how the knowledge will take place? If you want to know our colors and forms, you will require eyes. Without the eyes, without the chakshurindriya, how will the colors and forms be known? So there is ignorance about colors and forms, and that ignorance is removed by employing the equipment. Now what is that equipment which will remove the ignorance about moksha? And therefore, we say it is Veda. Okay. Brahma Moksha Pratipadakam Apaurusheyam Pramana Vakyam Vedaha. What is Veda? This is the definition of Veda. That which illumines what is Brahma and what is Dharma. What is Dharma, what is Brahma is, is known to you only through Veda. Sir, if that is the case, then I want to I want to I, I want to acquire this pramana. Now this pramana is presently not there. This means of knowledge is not there. I want to acquire it. It is in form of shabda, it is in form of words. Then those words have to be spoken by someone, and only he who already has it can speak and deliver it to me. So who is that? And therefore, Svatahaeva Pravritti Nasya. It cannot be just like some Indriyas letting you know, or at the most, based on the knowledge brought by the Indriyas, an inference can be built. <coughs> it is not like that. You know what? Like, let us say, just a classical example that we have is the mountain, fire in the mountain. You, you have an inference that there is fire in the mountain is inferential knowledge. Okay, because it is, it is based on inference. So it is knowledge, it is based on inference, inferential. But how did this inferential knowledge also take place? So it has taken place on a basic foundation stone, which is the knowledge of smoke. And this knowledge of smoke was given to you by eyes, by your chakshul India. So now even the inferential knowledge that comes is based on Indriya Janya Jnanam. It is based on what? Knowledge born through the sensory perception. It is based on sensory 
perception. So, moksha is neither based on sense, the knowledge of moksha is neither based on sensory perception nor is it based on, it is inferential knowledge which basically is based on sensory perception. There is an independent means which will reveal what is moksha or is brahma and that is shabda pramana. Ah, now you understand the meaning of the word pramana, shabda pramana and it has to be given by a person and therefore now comes the picture after having walked all these stations in life now comes the role of guru now comes the role of guru sadguru okay guru is not the one who is going to tell you which party to vote and what uh, uh, what all social activities you should do what is a sadguru the one who reveals what is brahman or one who gives you this equipment through which Brahma is known. So therefore now he, he says, my own pravritti is not possible, then what should, what happens? Tada jnana bhava, because I really do not know what is moksha, then how can I even exert in that direction? Though it may not be possible that you can endeavor in, in this direction by yourself, it is not possible. But it becomes possible through what? through the knowledge imparted by the teacher, by the Guru, okay? Guru Padesha Mahatmya, it is what Mahatmya? Mahatmya of the Upadesha given by the Guru, okay? It is the Upadesha, it is the knowledge, the instruction, which is given, imparted by the Guru, uh, uh, the greatness of that knowledge will, will propel you to exert in this direction now. Now it is possible. Though it was not possible to exert by yourself through sensory perception or through inferential knowledge, Yet it is possible through the instruction given by the Guru. And therefore, now approaching the Guru becomes important. Guru Upasaraniyaha. One should approach the teacher, go to the teachers. And now the whole thing is, you know, let us not create a, uh, that, uh, what do they say? Gurudam over here. Huh? Surrender your ego, surrender. That, that's all okay. Huh? That surrender simply would be. Because, you know, I have heard this a lot everywhere. Let us keep it as simple as possible. Okay, here we go. Pravrutti Sambhava Tvaya Guru Upasara Yaha Ityaha. Where is it? How does Shankaracharya say that Guru Upasara Yaha? <coughs> he says, Sadvidvan Upasrupyatam Pratidinam. Okay, not Pratidinam goes with the next instruction. Sadvidvan Upasrupyatam Atva. Upasrupyatam Bhutarupyatam. Upasrupyatam. Okay. In this particular uh, 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 
uh, addition or the, this part, uh, it is read as Sat Vidvam Upasavyata. Hmm. Upasrupyatam Upasavyata. San Yo Vidvam Upasrupyata. Upasrupyata means what? Prapyata. Upasrupyata means Prapyata. Go seek him. Go seek him. Who is to be sought? The teacher. Now I want a spiritual teacher. Should I go in Himalayan uh, what is it, caves and seek him? Sir, we are saying Yogi Bhan Sahav Pasrakyata Shrodriya Brahmanishta. So that, this is, these are the qualifications. What, what is Shrodriya? Shrodriya means a teacher who has come through the tradition of Vedas. So he has learned, he has understood, he has known. <coughs> Sashrodriya, the one who has done the studies of the Vedas along with all the six angas is called Shrodriya. Okay. Simple. And there is no mysticism around it. It is all that Guru and then he emerges out of that mist and all that. This is, um, uh, all, that is all okay. Shrodriya. And what is Brahmanishta? The one who is firmly established in Brahman. How will you know? You yourself do not know what is Brahman. And you are being told that you should seek a teacher who is Brahmanishtha. How will you yourself know? You do not know what is Brahman. You do not know what is meant by Brahmanishtha. Then how will you be able to even identify somebody is Brahmanishtha or not? One thing you can identify that he is Shrodriya. Vidwan. Then Sadvidwan. Okay, how will you know? So over here, Brahmanishta simply means the one who, in whose life there is no other commitment other than Shravana Manana Nidityasana. At least this is visible to you. This is something which you can easily identify. What is that person totally, completely dedicated to? And you will see that Shravana Manana Nidityasa. This is what you can see. No other commitment. He is not running any political agenda, any social activism, any reforms in the society or anything. No, nothing. All that he has is Shravana Manana Niridhyasana. Such a person who is Shrotriya and Brahmanishtha is over here called as Sadvidvan, Upasrupyata, Prapyata, Go seek, find him. You know, there are a lot of people who keep giving this advice, Ramaji, you should do this, you should also do that. Yes, sir. We have no objection, you do it. If you find that it is worthy of doing, go ahead, do it. But how do you expect that it should also become my, uh, my, my priority? So my priority is simply just this that I one should be able to give I should, one should be able to give himself completely to Shravana Manana and Nidhikasana. Okay. That is Sadvidva. Upasrupyatam approach him. Okay. Prapyatam iti yavat. Now that Prapyatam approach him uh, is also 
हाउ बिकॉज इट इज अ विधि इट इज अ प्रॉपर वे इन विच द शिष्य द पर्सन द मुक्ष should go to the teacher not casually over a cup of tea over a cup of tea we can have casual mutual nice and disturbing discussions and generally people land up discussing on the politics nothing else so Uh, so yeah, so over here it is not casual. There is a proper way in which the teacher etc. should be approached, and it is it is said how that upasar panancha so baharam karyam going to the teacher should not be with empty hands, but one should carry something in the hands. Why? Nirikta haste na nu beyad. राजानम to the to the temples to the shrines daivatam and gurum and also to the teacher rikta hastena ab rikta hastena no payar one should not approach them with empty hands should carry something what you carry <coughs> depends on your own capacity and shraddha but carry That is important. But the teacher is also waiting for gifts or what from us. It is not gifts. It is, are you ready to give or not? That's important. Going to the temple, shrines, etc. Also carry. At least that's why you find, you know, carry something, some fruit, some flowers, a garland. Something has to be there when you go to the deities also. Rikta haste na no paya. Then, but based on what there is, there is a shruti also. So this shruti is not just out of somebody's, uh, uh, you know, uh, whim and fancy, but it is based on shruti. What does that shruti say? The shruti says. तत् विषयाणिष्ठ You find the pradeshtha of Shravana Manana Nidhyasanam is Brahmanishta. Now, one who is fully established in the experience of Brahman and all, hey, how do you know he that is his Brahman experience or some other experience, or he is just sick and that's why his eyes are rolling up? Huh? How do you know? Oh no, because you know he 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 has some uh, powers. Right? That powers is what. That's why he, that is Brahmanishtha. That becomes Brahmanishtha powers. He has some special powers. You know he will throw light. Sorry, that day the electricity had failed and he was using a torch. You thought he is throwing light? Hey, come on. How we don't give any importance to all this? Then what is Brahmanishtha means only Shravana Manana Nidhyas Nami. Such a teacher has to be approached. What does that Kundakshruti say? 
तद्विज्ञानाथम इन ऑर्डर टू नो ब्रह्मन तद्विज्ञानाथम इन ऑर्डर टू नो ब्रह्मन तद्विज्ञानाथम सहा सहा वो सहा दैट मुमुक्षु व्हाट शुड ही डू सहा गुरु में वह अभिगत अभिगत छे अप्रोच हिम फ्रॉम फ्रंट नॉट दैट द टीचर हैज टू कॉल कम कम आई विल टेल यू व्हाट टू डू Is it the teacher's need or is it your need? That will come. The next point is there. So, abhigachche, you go from your own side. You approach, and then how? Samit pani hi. Pani means hands. Samit is the fire wood. Now take, which means that something has to be taken. It is a representative of this idea that one should not go empty-handed. At least carry dry wood, some twigs. So, if the teacher was going to live in a forest, there is no dearth of dry twigs around. But this fellow who has gone now, at least has collected some dry twigs and brought it to the teacher. Some it pani. <coughs> no matter how significant or insignificant it is. But the the rule is one should not go empty-handed. That is it. Ah. Now comes the next point. Now you have come to the teacher. At least brought half an apple. Okay. Then, nanu maya guru hu upagato pi kimartham upadishati. Now though I have gone to the teacher, why will the teacher? Give me the instructions. Why will he impart the knowledge? Why will he? Oh, that is the teacher is very talkative, and that's why he keeps on talking. He will naturally give. <laughs> that is that that is not the thing. In Viveka Chudamani, it's a very beautiful analogy. That uh, Shankara Charya Bhagwan gives, and he says, "This teacher, how is he? He is like fire. You know, it, fire in which the fuel is almost exhausted. Okay, so just imagine all the wood is almost burned." How is it then covered with ash? Now, if you want fire, you will have to add fuel to it, and you will have to blow the air uh, uh, and 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 remove the ash on the top. It is your requirement. It is not the requirement of the teacher. It is not the teacher's need. That the teacher should tell you. So over there, it is like a fire whose fuel is exhausted. Ah. Uh, what is that word that he says? Ah, uh, it will come later. Okay, then why? What should you do? Why will he give me? Huh? Then he says, "Tasya mad upadesha ina prayojana bhava." What is he does not have any prayojana. He does not have any purpose in giving me this knowledge, and that's why he will not. Huh? So come, okay, you have come sit, and then whenever you want to go, you go. Prayojana is not there. There is no purpose, so he, because he does not have any prayojana, he naturally will not give any instruction. Nachatvaya sopa sopa harata sopa harata yaiva katatva tad upaharam drishtva kushtaha tau pareksati divacha. Now, if you say that I have gone to the teacher with some gift in my hand, some offering. Whatever it is, whether your flowers, fruits, whatever that you have brought, 
how the teacher looks at it. Mm, what has he thought? Okay, okay. Now, because of that, I will give you some knowledge. Huh? Sopaharam Krishna. By looking at that, so are you bribing? Upadeshati, don't even have that kind of an idea. Iti na vatsya. Virakrasya pasya par upaharu. Tad upahare na api prayojana bhavan. Because that teacher is virakta. How is he? Virakta. He has <laughs> no expectations from the whole world. Forget you and your little gift that you have brought. Give Dakshina whatever. It does not matter. That teacher has, does not see any prayojanam in that. Because virakta. So don't you ever think that by looking at my gift, he will start giving me Upadesha. Then if this was the only condition, then only the rich people in this world would get uh, the Upadesha. Even if they don't want, but they can give gifts. That's why only Upadesha to them. No, sir, that is not the thing. That's why we require Shrotriya Brahmanishta teacher. And that Brahmanishtha is because there is Vairagya. If the Shishya who has come, he already has Vairagya, then what to talk about the teacher? Now who is, who is Brahmanishtha? Without the Vairagya, how can the Brahmanishtha also be there? So, not yet. That's fine. Virakta sepasya tar upahare na bhi prayojana bhava. Okay, sir, but you know, we have heard that the teacher, this guru is extremely compassionate. So, you just by looking at my face, which is so pathetic, huh? because I have come, you know, all scorched by the samsara, and my face is like that. By looking at my face like that, then he will give me Upadesha, right? <coughs> so, I... I spirituality means that I keep my face um, all the time, you know, like you know what pathetic, so that people feel sympathy for me. And if you know common people feel sympathy, then naturally even the, this teacher also should feel sympathy for me. Ah, kripaya, kripaya ha pi sahetukatva. Because this teacher is an ocean of compassion and just by looking at me, huh, he will give instruction. Because he sees my face which looks very, you know, dull and very, uh, what do they say, sad. So he, the teacher immediately, okay, don't become sad. I will tell you after my Brahman, okay, don't worry. No. Not why I'm and that's why. Hey, you don't have to think about it. Just keep your sad face, the teacher will do the job. And no. Because Kripaya, even for the compassion to, to be drawn to you, what is there? Sahetu katva, there is, there has to be some hetu. There has to be some hetu. Hetu means eh, some cause. There has to be in some reason why even that, you know, flow of compassion would come to you. Akripaya ha pi sahetu katvan, darshana matrasya pi aprayoja katvan. So just by looking at the sad face, but the sad face could be because you are having a headache. Take a saridon. What else? Huh? Hecros in cow. Paracetamol, something. And this fellow must be hungry, go eat. Otherwise, he feels a sad face because his wife has gone away. No, I'm sorry, I don't have a daughter. I can't give you now. What? Can't get him married again. So, so now, sir, 
If you could have your reasons to keep your face, face sad. And some people have that expertise, even, you know, when everything is fine and all, they still have that, they think that it is spirituality. I don't know why this sadness is worshipped as the spirituality. Any which way, Sahetu Kattva Darshana Matra Syabhiya Prayoja Kattva So just by looking at you and all that, don't say that. Even the Kripa is also Sahetu And therefore comes the next instruction. Pratidinam Tatpaduka Sevyatam So you have approached a teacher. Sadvidvan Upasrupyatam Don't the teacher. Then going to the teacher, do what? Do what? Now, then, then people think that, oh, I will go to the, uh, I'll go to the teacher in the ashram. And then the teacher has to look after. What did you do? What did you not do? Okay, okay. And then they feel, oh, what the attention did they have? We are But I Anudinam tatpaduka sevyatam. Anudinam means or akvapratidinam. Every day serve his sandals. Sandals. What is this? Serving the sandals. Paduka sevyatam. How are you going to take care of the sandals? What sandals? That is just a way of saying. Tasya. Tasya means Tasya. Guru. Oh, of this Guru. Paduka. Paduka means Padaravindam Paduka Shabdena Padadara Vastuvajina Padaravinda Selakshamanatva. Now, what is meant is serve his feet, which means humility and be ready to serve even. To, to, to what the job that could be even medium. Huh? Don't don't think how can I do this this job for me? This is too small. No. Just take that every opportunity to serve the teacher in whatever, even in the smallest possible way. Don't create a prestige issue. Don't create, because that is the only way. When a person has become that humble, humility is there. Now he, he can become a receptacle. He will become tuned to what the teacher is saying. Okay. So, Paduka Shabdena Padadhara Vastuvajina. What is Paduka? Some the footwear. You are ready to take care even of the footwear. How can I touch? How can I touch even whatever it may be? Okay, even that. Padar in the selakshamanat path. And not only once, anudinam. Every day. Anudinam, pratidinam. Tathacha svapadka sevanena guru kripa samhavaha. Thus now the teacher sees that this fellow is indeed, he is humble and ready to serve. So now, the teacher, you know, his attention, his gaze turns towards you. Yeah, you will have to make his gaze turn towards you. Not seek attention through what? through tantrums or through the very loud things. Very subtly make his attention, compassion flow towards you. Kripa Sambhava Tvam Inam Upadek Shati Iti Thus, now he is Deen, he is indeed humble. And therefore, now the teacher's heart will melt for you. Okay, the teacher is not going to test and all. You will only have to prove yourself. Become capable. 
उपदेशति इति भावः ओके देन कम्स द नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन ननु अर्थिनां खलु उपदेशति पुरुषो मया च किमर्थं किमर्थं इति इति अतः आह नौ द टीचर विल विल इंस्ट्रक्ट ओनली दोस पीपल हु आर सीकिंग द नॉलेज who are seeking the knowledge therefore how will he instruct me if i do not speak and therefore over again having pleased and propitiated the teacher now this it is the students or it is the disciples responsibility to question the teacher without asking it will not be given because knowledge is not to be given without asking for it that is the reason why shri krishna also gives this knowledge to arjuna only when arjuna has sought it one will have to ask oh no whenever the teacher feels he will give me knowledge so you do not want knowledge the teacher wants to give knowledge Whose want is it? Whose want? How do ya? Guruji will only Guruji will give whenever he wants, and they feel that this kind of a thing is a very big uh, uh, that spiritual declaration of that spiritual maturity or something. No, sir, this is not any declaration of your spiritual and total confidence in teacher or anything or total surrender. This is simply. saying that how great i am because i have a want i do not have a want it is the teacher who has the want mai to virakta hu the teacher has some desire not me i do not even have the desire to get the knowledge but the teacher has desire to give knowledge so who is a who is more virakta in this case you so जब उनको लगेगा वो देंगे एंड ऑल दैट डोंट that that means burnt exhausted what is exhausted in the fuel like the fire analyze fire like the fire whose whose fuel is exhausted now if you want fire from the same place you it is there in the last little bit <coughs> you will have to blow air and blow that ash away and add fuel to it then the fire so this is the question the surrender that you have the service that you if the humility the service which is given in humility to the teacher and the question that you have asked now becomes the fuel for the teacher to speak over there and therefore maya cha kimartham iti aha therefore the comes come next comes the next instruction ब्रह्मी gradually it deteriorates whatever whether it is money youth power popularity or even going to the heaven pleasures everything will dissipate but there is only one thing which never ever gets exhausted never dissipate dissipates the dissipate what is it dissipates or perishes 
than ek and it is aksharam sharam means sharta hai deteriorates aksharam that which does not deteriorate that which doesn't perish so eka aksharam and that ekam which is aksharam is brahma and seek this brahman from the teacher tell him that o oh lord o oh, oh sir bhagwan please instruct me show me what is brahman what is brahman eka aksharam brahma hmm. arthyatam arthyatam means प्रकर्षेण प्रकर्षेण एनीथिंग एल्स नो डिजायर फॉर ए प्रार्थ्यता तथा चार्थ ब्रह्मोपदेशे तदर्थ से ज्ञात तत्षयक विचार संभवती भाव नौ वेन द इंस्ट्रक्शन इज गिवन नाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू कॉन्टेप्लेट अपाउन वॉट इज ब्रह्मन हाउ इज दिस आत्मा ब्रह्मन एक्सेट्रा विल बी पॉसिबल ओके नौ हि से ब्रह्मण स्तर वर्णात्मक ओंकार one syllable syllable is a sound just a sound o k b i r i this is once just sound and just with one sound like that it is possible that we can show what is brahman how that om just as much sound om this is one om means brahman how that is a different thing tad aksharam varnatmakam omkar rupam tat padartham arthyatam iti otherwise that ekaksharam means ekam cha tad akshara cha iti visheshan samasaha it is it is a a, a, a what do they say the composite thing kya bolte hain samasika compound word it is a compound word samasika padam how is it ekaksharam is a compound word it is a visheshan visheshan samasa ekam cha aksharam cha that which is one and also imperishable aksharam ekam what is ekam sajatiya vijatiya svagata bheda rahitam what what is ekam one means which is free from sajatiya bheda vijatiya bheda and svagata bheda okay we will be able to just do this much sajatiya bheda means the difference which is there within the species so when you say a tree it is there is a mango tree and a coconut tree and a jackfruit tree and a guava tree and so on and so forth so tree even if you say tree in that tree also there is sajati a bed then vijatiya means of a different species so tree then animals birds amphibians so on and so forth these are different bheda vijatiya 
स्वगत भेद मीन्स डिफरेंसेस विच मे एक्सिस्ट विद इन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट तो इवन वेन यू से ट्री द ब्रांच द ट्वेक्स द ट्रंक द रूट द फ्रूट्स द लीव्स द फ्लावर्स सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ वॉट इज दिस ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंसेस विद इन द specimen within the specimen differences of dif of a different species and differences within the species there are, so these are differences what is ekam that which is free from all the differences so the differences within the specimen do not exist the difference caused by a different specimen as uh, uh, species or within the same species none of these differences exist over there and that is what is called as a kam and akshara means that which does not perish nakshati ti aksharam seek this now when you go to the teacher then ask for what sir tell me that which is which does not perish because everything here seems to be fraught fret with that with destruction it is fret with destruction therefore give me that show me that which will never ever perish when will you be able to say this only when you have found that the teacher is pleased with you don't question the teacher to prove that how smart you are the question is there because it is your question if the question has any other purpose that i want to show the teacher that how interested i am how smart i am how good i am how spiritual i am then this is not at all a spiritual question because it has got its own purpose apparently there is a question but that question does not have jinyasa it does not have the desire for knowledge but it, there is a desire to prove something okay and then how how will that be possible by serving that one will become humble enough there will be refinement and therefore now that is possible and therefore for this to happen go to the teacher so that for these are the three instructions what are what is the first one sadvidvan upasrupyata प्रतिदिन पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाषित वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे की मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम Thank you.